Okay, Paul here for Rotec Aerosport. I just thought I'd share a project uh, that I'm working on at the moment. Um, I've, um, for some time, wanted to build a Formula One style race car from the mid 80s. And of course, those things are worth millions of dollars, probably, you know, up to a million dollars. So that's out of my price, right, price range. So I thought, well, we could build one. So this is the car, this is the car I'm mocking. So I'm gonna build a 90% scale version of that, uh, that car there. That's, an, that's a, a, a Williams FW11B. That was raced by Nelson Piquet, Nigel Mansell in 1986 and 1987. Very successful car. It was a V6 Honda, 1.5 litre turbocharged. Uh, one, at four bar it would produce about a thousand horsepower but generally run it around about 750 horsepower. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale that up, um, scale that down, sorry, to about 90%, so it's about the same size of a Formula 3000. And uh, what I'll be uh, using for all the running gear, I'll take that tone. Thanks mate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got 10 inch slicks on the rear here, and I've got 8 inch slicks on the front. I'm getting new centres machined to a more period for the Williams. I've got my, I've got my uh, motorcycle shocks here, uh, rear dampers, which I'm going to use uh, one on each corner inboard with push rods to uh, operate the suspension. I've got motorcycle brakes here, which are the quad, quad uh, piston uh, radial mount calipers, rear brakes, which are more the right diameter for the wheels, they're about 245 mil. And then I've got um, the sprocket, which I'll be reusing, which will be attached, that sprocket will be attached to the quaif diff here. Uh, which is a Torsen style diff and I've got my drive shafts and bits and pieces so just putting the running gear, piecing all the running gear componentry together. Um, but here's what we're, uh, here's the engine. Um, this is basically a, a crashed or a rolled uh, pretty low K, low kilometre um, Hayabusa, Gen 2 Hayabusa 1340cc. Very powerful engine in fact if I understand Tony these are the most to this point the most powerful motorbike engine on the planet as far as a road bike's concerned so they're very high performance and i intend to turbocharge it on top of that although that's just mainly for keeping it in period with the turbo era of the f1 so here you see it here it's a nice little engine it's a it's a 16 valve as i said 1.34 litre uh four cylinder engine it's of course here a sequential six-speed gearbox which i'll be using so the idea is straight off the gear the engine we mounted transverse in the car then the chain will come rearward to the uh, to the sprocket, which will be mounted to the to the diff, the uh, limited slip diff, which will be mounted externally, of course, no diff housing, and where the where the crown wheel would normally go, I'll be I'll be bolting the the chain on the sprocket on here. These are drive shafts out of a Honda Civic, which I'll modify for the rear end, and these are the flanges out of the Honda Civic, which I'll machine down and um, modify to take the center lock racing 13-inch racing slicks. Anyway, let's hear this engine run here. Tony, take this off me and I'll uh, give the engine a quick, quick buzz. There's an EFI engine, of course, so it's got all the electronics and the ECU. Once I've got this, I've got this engine running now. This will be the last time I run it in the frame, then I'll take it out and then start to, start to you know, design the, the chassis. The chassis will be carbon fibre monocoque front and it'll be a tubular space frame rear, which will house the engine. The, the diff and the rear suspension. The beauty with having the motorcycle engine, it's got the sequential gearbox built in, so it's, it's just perfect. All I've got to do is build an extension, subframe extension, which would emulate the gearbox, and that subframe, that space frame, will have the suspension components and all the inboard shocks mounted to it. So let's fire this thing up. Right, so there's the fuel pump. I think that'll do the trick. 